Mother of God. This time, he will not come as man in the flesh. Wednesday, April 24, 2013 at 2.15 p.m. My beloved children, out of his great love for humanity, my son now prepares you for his second coming. It is because he loves you that he speaks to you now, through his prophets, to ensure that no one escapes his mercy. Just as God sent John the Baptist to prepare the world for my son, the only begotten son of God, the Messiah, my son now reveals to you the final plan. This final plan of salvation will be similar to his first coming, but with one difference. This time, he will not come as man in the flesh. Now that the truth is being revealed to you again, my son reminds you of all that comes from God through his holy word, as he prepares the final stages. God's children were given the truth when my son walked the earth. Now, you will be given the full truth, including revelations as to the work of God's enemies, for your own good, lest you be deceived. You must be generous of heart when my Son brings you these gifts, which will nourish your souls. When I appeared to God's chosen visionaries, through the years, it was to prepare souls for these times. Now, when you prepare for the persecution, which will be inflicted on Christians, it will be extremely difficult, because it will be a violation of the Spirit and this will cause the most hurt. When you know the truth of the Word of God, and when you know how to recognize the work of the deceiver, you will become stronger. It is far more important to remain true to the Word of God, than to accept lies which will be presented to you by those who do not come from God. My Son will raise you to great glory when you obey His Holy Word and uphold His teachings. I ask that you show my Son the respect which He deserves. Those who rejected Him when He walked the earth, finally accepted the truth of who He was when He died on the cross. Those who reject his word today, will finally realize the truth on the day he comes to judge. For many it will be too late. Pray that all souls will remain loyal to the legacy of my beloved Son, Jesus Christ, for only those who accept him can be taken into his kingdom. Your beloved Mother. Mother of Salvation.